So you want to buy a bottle of wine. Simple or scary? It's so confusing, isn't it? There's champagne here, there's sparkling wine, not always champagne. Italian wine here, French wine, whites down there, reds this side, look, French. Complicated labels, chateau, all those names. Posh wine, 32 pounds for a bottle of wine. There's whites here from California and South America. Lots of complicated labels and descriptions and more complicated labels and descriptions with these reds from Australia. So you think, oh dear, that's all a bit scary. I know, I'll do what I always do and get the cheapest £2.86 Australian red. That should be all right. There's nothing wrong in buying the good old faithful cheap bottle of red. Supermarkets have to sell decent wine or they'd go out of business. But if you spent another pound on your wine and the budget could run to that, you're buying a pound's worth more wine, not tax, because the tax on wine is fixed. Now what I think is so incredibly exciting about this marvellous world of wine to be discovered is that it's very simple to make. Basically it's agriculture. You grow some grapes and you squash them. There's yeast on the skins and that yeast turns the sugar in that liquid into alcohol. Red grapes are for red wine, white grapes are for white wine and rosé wine has red grapes in it for a bit to give it the colour and then they're taken out so it's rosé. There's an adventure waiting to happen here. If you're really keen, buy a good book. It'll help explain how labelling works in wine. So if you look at a label on a bottle of wine, it'll tell you obviously which country it's been made in, but it'll tell you where it's been made, and it'll tell you something about how it's been classified, which is really all about how much fuss has gone into making it. And if it's won an award, well, that's worth looking out for too. So this isn't about spending a fortune and being snobby. It's about being a little bit more adventurous and enjoying the ride. And a final tip, screw tops are as good as, if not better than corks, and ignore anyone who tells you otherwise. And when the snobs go, oh, it's an unpretentious little red with oaky overtones, ignore it. If you want red wine with fish, that's fine. Remember, this is about you not buying the same bottle of wine every week. You don't have to spend a fortune either. It's about enjoyment, in moderation, of course. <laughs>